Uh, good morning on Friday, January 23rd, for another update on the 53 Shepherd Dutchman repair to the uh, stem and knee. Uh, John's made a lot of progress since last night's video, so I, we will bring you up to date. Okay, I took them two big rough pieces of oak and I, or that one big piece of oak, and I cut out these two pieces for this Dutchman, and then I sanded them into shape, and I got them all ready to screw together, so we'll attach them here. They got the stem Dutchman, and then we went to the sander and I drew the lines on this other piece and sanded that all in and got that ready to mount. Got that all fitted and sanded to shape. Then I went through and I refastened all these side planks. And I refastened them in 3M 5200 and got them all anchored real tight so that that'll all be sealed nicely. And the 5200 they have a little problem with the 5200 squeezing out of the seam, so when I put the 5200 in there, when I wiped it back out, I put the rag in deep and I wiped it down through so it gives it some room to actually compress and work a little bit rather than coming out of the seam. Because we've been having trouble with the sealers and sealing that stem. So the 5200 works really good for a seal. We just got to keep it from coming back out. Well, and the next step is to uh, fill the voids behind the Dutchman with uh, 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 total boat uh, thick so thickened epoxy, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that and then we'll attach them solid and we'll let it harden. But where they meet, where the two meet here, I will actually use 5200. Um, 3M5200 for a sealer behind them where they meet so that they can still work because when they put it together from the factory they expected that to move a little. So that's the story. Thank you very much from Snake Mountain Boatworks.